Hey everyone, how's it going? Today I'm going to show you how to unlock your iPhone without a passcode. And the best part? This method works for both iPhones and iPads, no matter if it's showing iPhone unavailable or the older iPhone is disabled screen. This is a universal method that works on every iPhone model, from the latest iPhone 17, 16, 15, 14, all the way down to the classic iPhones like the 6, 7, 8, 10, and more. It's super easy. <laughs> and yes, I'll also explain how to recover your data. So don't worry. Once that happens, you can't fix it without a computer. So let's begin. Open your browser, Chrome, Edge, Firefox, anything, and install iTunes on Windows from Apple's website. On a Mac, you'll use Finder or iTunes on older Mac OS. Install it, that's all. Connect your iPhone to your computer. Use an original or high-quality lightning cable. Avoid cheap cables because they often cause connection issues. When you connect the phone, it should start charging. If it doesn't, it means the connection isn't proper. Try another USB port or a different cable. Next, we need to put the iPhone into recovery mode. The exact button combo depends on your model. The method is slightly different depending on your model. For iPhone 8 and later, Follow the first method shown on screen. For iPhone 7 slash 7 Plus, follow the second method. For older models, follow the third method. For iPads, link is in the description, or you can ask ChatGPT. In my case, I'm using an iPhone 16 Pro Max. Press volume up, then volume down. Then press and hold the power button until the computer icon appears on the iPhone screen. Once that shows up, it means the phone is successfully in recovery mode and connected to the computer. As soon as iTunes detects your device, it will give you two options on the screen, Update or Restore. Update means only updating the iOS firmware. Restore means erasing everything and returning the iPhone to factory settings. Because the phone is stuck on the iPhone unavailable or iPhone disabled screen, we need to click Restore. If you only click Update, it won't remove the passcode. The latest software will start downloading. The file is large, so it can take a while. Once it finishes, the restore will begin automatically. If the download is slow or times out, restart it later and keep the device in recovery mode. If it exits recovery, put it back in recovery mode and try again. If your download is slow or fails, you can manually download the IPSW. Open your browser, go to IPSW.me, select your exact iPhone or iPad model, choose the latest signed iOS, the green one, and download it. Back in iTunes, hold Shift on Windows or Option Alt on Mac, then click Restore. A file picker will open, choose the IPSW you just downloaded. That's it. Now just wait. Do not disconnect the phone. The restore usually takes around 10 to 15 minutes. Keep your computer powered on and the cable connected. If something interrupts and the device gets stuck in recovery mode, don't panic. Just repeat the restore step and it will proceed again. Just press restore button again and it will start over. If iTunes gives you problems or errors, I personally recommend using Tenorshare For You Key. It's much easier and works on both Windows and Mac. With For You Key, you can remove iPhone passcodes, bypass Apple ID, unlock iCloud, remove screen time passcodes, and more. Link is in the description so you can check it out. Once the restore is complete, iTunes will show a pop-up confirming it. You can now safely unplug your iPhone, but I recommend keeping it plugged in if the battery is low. You'll now see the Hello screen. Just follow the basic setup. If your iPhone had iCloud or Apple ID activated before, you'll need to enter your previous Apple ID and password to activate it. If you've forgotten it, 
You can use For You Key to bypass iCloud as well. You can check out my other tutorials about it on my channel. So, now follow the basic steps. When you reach the Data Restore screen, you'll see four options. Restore from iCloud Backup, Restore from another iPhone, Restore from Mac or PC, Restore from Android. Choose your preferred backup method. This is the only way to get your old data back. If you never made a backup, unfortunately, the data can't be recovered. But most iPhone users have iCloud backups automatically enabled, so try logging in to your Apple ID and you'll see the backups listed with time and date. Select it, restore, and all your data will come back. If there's no backup anywhere, data can't be recovered. Restoring removes the passcode, but also erases the phone. That's why regular backups are essential. If you never made an iCloud or computer backup, you can't recover erased on-device data. But many people do have iCloud backups enabled automatically. So sign in and check your backup list by date and time, then restore the one you want. For this tutorial, I'll tap on Don't Transfer Anything, just to skip it quickly. And that's it. We remove the passcode, fix the iPhone unavailable disabled issue. If this helped, please like, comment, and subscribe for more iPhone fixes and tips. See you in the next video.